consist of uh, dual alternators. You have an electric motor that drives both alternators. And you have two power lines, one coming off this alternator, then you have one coming off this alternator, and they go out to your bank of batteries. Uh, and it also has uh, handles in here. Basically, if you have to do repairs, some of that nature, you would unclip it, disconnect, and you could pull the whole housing out and be able to work on it if you need to. Um, has adjustments on the belts, uh, just like you would in your car. Uh, control, on, off. Also adapter, you go to a standby generator, which is just a small portable. That would uh, run the 230, which actually would operate this electric motor. Uh, from this line here, it's plugged into an outlet down here, which is basically a 230, but I can unplug that, plug it right into this, and then plug this uh, twist turn into a generator. Uh, as you can see, that's a 240, uh, it's actually 230 uh, outlet, and this is coming out of my main breaker box, uh, and then basically this generator goes in on a transfer switch. So right now I can run it off grid power or run it off the generator, but the idea here, of course, if power's out, you're running a generator. You don't want to run this all day long because it takes a lot of fuel and a lot of money. So we run this to do the high loads for an hour, cool the house, so on and so forth. In the meanwhile, you'll be running this system here. That would be running off of this generator while the power's out. And I'm going to turn it on. Our system's on now. <coughs> running. And it's feeding power over to the battery. So now this battery's being charged uh, quickly by just one alternator. But I could, like I said, uh, you could have multitude of the batteries and uh, you could have, uh, you know, uh, six, eight, ten batteries. Uh, if you get into the 200 amp hours, four of those would give you probably 40 hours worth of power, depending on the load. Uh, and that's pretty much running the refrigerator, you know, TV, computers, things of that nature. Just one 200 amp hours uh, battery should last you about 23 hours. So if you're turning the generator on, say, an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening, you should get more than enough power to last you for all the other loads, refrigerator, you know, you can't do uh, high-end, like, hot water heater, things like that, but uh, smaller loads you can do very easily. All right, that's the system there. Anyway, <clears throat> this is self generating power systems, and you can check us out online. And these systems are uh, up for sale. This patent uh, technology, and basically, uh, it uh, it's the fastest way, easiest way to collect energy uh, from a standby generator, or even from. I've got the battery switch on right now. That's a switch that turns the batteries on and off. Turn it back on. We got power to the battery. <clears throat> it has a 200 amp um, fuse. Uh, basically going now to an inverter. This is just an example. And you can have a much larger inverter inside the uh, house cabin or what have you. And then basically I'm just going to turn on the uh, the inverter. And now the inverter is on. And then basically, of course, you can run electrical appliances, that kind of thing. Turn the inverter back on. <clears throat> and that gives you an idea of, of uh, the system, how it works. Uh, now what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to plug it in in just a second here. All right, I want to show also, this is a, uh, a an extension that you can have cable that also will come with the system if you like. It's extra. Uh, and basically it has your 230 plug uh, on one end and then it has also a connector for a uh, for a 230 on a generator, which is just a, uh, a turn screw. Uh, so you can just pop this right into the side of a generator, set it, uh, and then you plug in this electric motor system, which is right here, 230, uh, that will plug into this end. And I can show you that here in a minute. Uh, and I'll bring out a portable generator and hook it up and show you the system running on a portable generator. So uh, let me demonstrate how this works.
whip lock uh, cord. Let me take and plug in uh, this cord. All right, and that goes to the system here. Now we're going to crank up the generator. <coughs> Oh, wow. 